So that's the uh, billion dollar view. Once it's done, I mean, once this is all nice and all of that, and there's some trees around, and this is the view between number two, that's number one, sorry, number two and number three. So the idea I was thinking was a room here with windows that looks out at the billion dollar view as I'm calling it. I'll do another video of dr driving in. That's number one. Come around here, drive in here past 13 there and 12 and you come in and you pull in somewhere around here in the garage let me show you what the leveling looks like. okay i want to show you from stake one which is right here the tent is there that's number two and that's number 13 and that there is number 12. So let me back up here. 1, 12, 13. And then this, there's, there's three, there's the three pines in a row. And the idea is to have parallel to these two pines, uh, your family room, great room, second story you know garage level on the first story so if i can zoom back you drive in through here i'm gonna go slow in case you stop it pull in there uh that's old thorny right there which i'll show another video of garage there from this tree to old thorny is about 45 feet uh there's some angles, some issues there, but uh, that's that. So this is between two and three, the two pines. The view would be basically of this, more or less. Uh, I gotta clean it up, probably take out this tree. And between, that's three, that's two. This is the area and it's pretty flat. I'll just walk it to show you. It's pretty flat. I don't know what the grade is, but it goes down a little bit over here. But if you dropped about three feet of dirt in any one direction, three or four feet or something like that, I would think you're, you're pretty level. Uh, so the drop off from the bottom of that tree to the bottom of old thorny is i'm going to guess uh well i'm six feet tall and i'm gonna say it's five feet to give another indication of the scope I'm about halfway in the middle of old thorny and uh that tree and this is the slope you can kind of see it it's not too bad. Here, it's the same, more or less the same slope, you know. So you can kind of see, it's pretty much like this. So from that to that, you know, more or less. All right. So that's tree. This is the tent. The point of this video is between tree and the second pine, it's quite a bit of space. But between the second and third, it's not as much. Also, it's not perfectly in a line, but it's pretty close. So that's tree. And if I'm standing in front of tree, which here is number five, you can kind of see that it's pretty much in a line, but this middle one goes this way a little bit. Uh, there you go. Let me also show you there's some opportunities so there's two and three where the parallel to that, the win window looking at the view, but there's also some opportunities between uh, two, well, I'm getting myself confused here, two and three. Like for example, if you had your lobby entrance in the front, 
parking here. You could even fit in your little jacuzzi right there, you know, which will have an amazing view. Uh, ironically, where the boat is, where it'll have a nice view, big trees, all of that. So that's a possibility too. Here's stake number eight, right next to the tree, which is on top of, there's the tent, there's tree, number three and number two. This is a mound that may have just been put there by pushing dirt around. So I don't know how solid it is. Uh, it's probably what, 30 feet across maybe. Uh, so I don't know how to deal with it, but um, it drops here a good 10 feet or so. And then it's relatively flat. I think it drops, you know, five feet over 50 feet. So a foot every 10 feet. So 10% grade. Uh, but I still think it's doable. Anyway, there you go. As far as the new site, uh, it's harder because there's more growth in here. It's hard to see. Uh, but I was thinking garage level down here and washer dryer and maybe a spare room or something. I don't know. It doubles the storage. And then this and then the residence down there, maybe uh, you have the opportunity. You don't have to, but to have something up here as well, higher up. I thought it might be cute to have the parking right here, the lobby, so to speak, right here. And then, or I don't know, maybe it's a courtyard or something and a little bridge to the top floor. So when you get out of your car for people who park here, you just have to walk here walk across the bridge and you're in the uh, family room uh, and then so it's very convenient as a for that purpose uh, so still you would have probably the mechanical room over here maybe lots of stuff to work out here's a view from the bottom near stake 35 and the point is here is that this is a nice for a trail this is right by the property this is where the trail would go let me just show you what it looks like from the bottom here. That's old thorny. And this is what it looks like here. And while I'm gonna walk, I carved out a path between old thorny and the second, just so you can get a feel through it. Cause that is the linchpin. That is the uh, bottleneck. So I'm gonna start here at old thorny and I'm gonna walk to that tree so you can just get a sense of it between old thorny and that tree is the bottleneck. So I cut a path to measure it. Okay. It's right there. And let me so that's the halfway point from between there and maybe a little bit more halfway about 23 feet that way and 23 that way. I measured it more or less 22 maybe is the middle all the way to number two. So now I'm standing at the edge and there's old thorny right there. I'll walk it one more time. Cause this is the bottleneck if there is one. And I cut all of this out just to make sure I get this measurement because it's an important one. Okay. There you go. Let me show you why Old Thorny probably has to stay or it's gonna cost some bucks. It's called Old Thorny because it's character. Look at that right there. Now, isn't that an Old Thorny? And look at all of these uh, thorns, so to speak, sticking out of it. So that's why I called Old Thorny. But let me show you next to Old Thorny is another cedar. And this sucker is big as well. And it's been cut a long time ago. So that's pretty solid. Uh, doable, sure. Expensive, you betcha. So maybe we don't have to cut it out, 
But the good news is that these two are parallel to anything that you'd build. So it's not like this is closer. So they're equally bad anyway. But also I think equally a, not a problem. Let me show you one more thing with Old Thorny. So Old Thorny's there. That stake right there is number 35 is the 30 feet. And we're a good distance away um, from Old Thorny which is steak number nine, Old Thornton.